Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to continue playing Magic the Gathering Arena Online Ranked Mono Red. We're gaming. Best of three, waiting for server. And uh, reading the menu here, your creatures can attack in your opponents or their planeswalkers. When you click a creature to attack with it, click a planeswalker to decide what they're attacking. So, uh, yeah. Hope your day is going well. Just uh, trying to unwind after the old work day by grinding some Magic the Gathering. Our first run was not the greatest. It wasn't the worst. We had a pretty solid chance at winning that game three there. And you know what? What I want to do is showcase this deck and just this content around other Magic the Gathering decks. So we've seen... A red-white weenie deck, and it makes me angry. We're going to be playing against Useless Ginger, number 1433. Three. We will be on the play. This hand does nothing, so we're going to get rid of it. This hand also does nothing, but I don't want to go to five, because that kind of makes us lose. So we are going to drop the Bane Splitter here. Like, at least we have a creature on turn four to like look forward to, and we have a little bit of removal. Honestly, that other hand was probably fine. So, we will play a land. Pass the turn. We will see what they do. They will play a land. And it looks like we're playing against my arch nemesis, Red White Weenies. We don't like Red White Weenies, but we play against it. So, we'll hit a land. We'll pass turn. There we go. Let's see it. He plays Warden of the Inner Sky. Fantastic. He's going to proc the ability for it to give it a plus one, plus one counter. You know what we're going to do? Sayonara. Get that out of here. And you're tapped out. Where are you at? <laughs> Jiminy Christmas. All right. You see what we did there? We top decked to Chanda. That's awesome. We're going to hit him for one damage past the turn and hope he doesn't get the artifact removal to. that allows him to get three one ones for one mana because that's kind of broken the war leader's call is a good card um now he's got to decide whether he wants to hit me or my planeswalker he hit my planeswalker really and he hurt my, my heart style. so we will play o'hare now the plus ones here do four damage, which is sick. And we will pass turn. And it looks like we kind of got a four mana... We got four damage on a plus one here for the rest of the game. Which feels good. Um, I don't know if he's going to start swinging for me or for Chandra here, but... I think I Monstrous Rage and then do a plus one next turn. I could be hunting for cards uh, using the other plus one, but we just hit a Slick Shot, so that's awesome. And what we will do is do a Monstrous Rage here. And what's he going to do? Crack his blood token? Waste my time? We're going to plus one here. Seven damage on a plus one. Feels pretty nice. Let's bring things up to Three damage is guaranteed. He has two, four, six damage as blocker. So you would need to triple block to do anything. I think we can just swing in with the slick shot. But I guess this wipes the board, forces the block. Um, and then we still have Chandra around. I think we do that way. I think we just go swing in. Yeah, and then what we'll do is we'll keep the token around because it doesn't matter. And then O'Hare's a land. They're down to four. We have three in the air. We can top deck. If we top deck a spell, three damage wins the game. Uh, 
He plays a a weenie. We don't care about weenies. We care about weaning. So I'm a little hot headed. So hot. We're gonna hit this just to get the trigger on our guy over here. And then we will swing in for three. If he lets me. He scoops. Turns out useless ginger lived up to the name. We are going to bring in some end the festivities here. We're going to grab a couple lithomantic barrages. Get rid of the rending flame. And we're going to grab a little bit of board wipe action. We're going to grab a little bit of herbrask forge action. And a furnace punisher. We're going to drop the bane splitters. We are also going to drop two of the O'Hares and a twin Inferno. And normally, you know, 61 out of 60 cards. I don't know. It's not the end of the world. So, game two. Let's see if we take it. Is the ginger truly useless? That last game, it appeared to be so. This hand kind of doesn't have any of our sideboard cards in, but it gives us a good turn one, two, and our turn one and two and allows us to kind of look at the top of our deck. So we'll keep this. We got a little bit of removal in case he tries to spice out this guy. That's the guy we wanted to get rid of. Uh, we cracked the Lithomantic Barrage, so I will play Kumano. We will deal with that next turn. Because we have five damage and we don't need to worry about it. What's he going to do? Hit me for one and then do nothing? Exactly. And then, do I get greedy? I think I go Swift Spear. And then I go Lithomantic Barrage. And then I smack him in the face. I think that's the way to do it. I don't know. I could have played another Kumano, but he didn't have anything on here, so we're just going to keep on forcing damage down his throat. And now we drop Kumano. And then we play with Fire His Face. Uh, this is a board wipe. I don't know. He's got four cards in hand. I've got... 4 plus 2 damage, 6 damage on board. I feel like I'd want to find a way to do more damage to him. I guess this deals 1 damage and procs the Swiss Beard and keeps us back if he kind of pumps out a bunch of crap. His stuff gets plus 1 plus 1 though, so end the festivities doesn't really do anything to it for his 1 1, so we bought him that. Alright, we will then go to combat. We could have used this to pump our prowess over here, but I don't think it's worth it. And there's a bunch of other good cards in our deck, right? If we get a Monstrous Rage, that's just a win. It's just that easy. Easy peasy, he just drops another War Leader's Call. And then he loses the game, because I just do this. Good game. And we swing out. Unlucky. But lucky for us. Well, thank you. We have beaten the useless ginger, and we na are now 1,644th ranked in the U.S., I guess. I don't know how the servers work. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.